So the sugar we will be discussing today is Tzad Echod Beribis. Machloikes of Yehuda v'chachomim, Tzad Echod Beribis is a mutar oy osu. And the makar of the sugi is Samach Gimel Omid Beis. Harei shayin oy shebech v'eremona, v'osu lo sedei emecha, b'zman shamoycher oycher peres mutar. לוקח אוכל פרס אוסו, ורבי יהודה, אף בזמן שלוקח אוכל פרס מוטה, רש"י אקספליינס אוסו שדה אומך, אם אין אני נויסן לחו מכאן עד יום פלויני, הרי הסוד יש שלחו. So if at the end he won't pay, then it's a mecha. No ribis involved. But if he does pay, and stays with the soda, so he gets his money back, and the moicha, for the time being, ate peris, and therefore that would be considered ribis, tzad echod beribis, rebi udamater chachom emoisim, and the two drachom and the gemorah, what is the machlekes, either tzad echod beribis or ribis al menas lachzam. And if at the end of the day, I'll get the soda back, I will compensate you for all the peris that I ate. And that is Rebis HaManas Lachzah. So the topic we're discussing today is Tzad Echud Beribis. Erech HaNamad Aleph, in the Mishnah, HaMoycha Bayez Baboto Orechoim, the Moycha is entitled to buy the house back. Toch Yud Beis Chodesh. So if he doesn't buy the house back, mecha, just like any other mecha. If he does buy the house back, that means that the lakach, giving back the house, eight peris. He used that house all year, and that would be considered ribis. So the lesson of the mission is, kemin ribis, ve'en ribis gemura. The Gemara brings a b'raisa, Arei ze ribes gemura v'atoire hi tirosoi. And the Gemara asks, what is the makhloik as ribes gemura or not ribes gemura? Tzadechot beribes. So the difference between the sugya harei shoi noisha b'chavere mona and amoy chabayis boto rechoima is whether it's t'chile salvoa v'soi for mecha or t'chile smecha v'soi for alvoa. But the concept is the same. If I don't pay, then you keep the house, just like any other mecha. If I do pay and I get back the house, or I don't give you the house, ochel peres. So that is defined as sad echod beremis. La locha, both the Rambam and the Shechem Ruch Paskin, sad echod beremis also. Locha kechachumim, keneged rebe kiva. Yushalmi bov metziachof amedalef. Yushalmi ties this Machloikis of Metziah to the Mishnah and Eichim. And the Yerushalmi says, Rabbi Yehuda proves Tzad Echot Beribis Mitter from Moicha Bayez Baboto Urechoim. And that is a right, Tzad Echot Beribis Muta. Obviously, according to the Raisa, doesn't prove anything, because according to the Gemorah in Erech Ben Amad Aleph in Babli, it might be Ribis Gemorah. So it doesn't prove that Sadechot Beribis Mutam. The Chloikis will show him. According to the Halacha, Sadechot Beribis also. Is it also in a Torah or only Midra Bonon? Toys is Samach Gimel Amadalef. Makora Sugya, also in a Torah. Rashbo quotes the Ravid, also in a Bonon. The reasoning of the Ravid is because it's Derach Mekichomemka. It is not exactly what we usually define when we say is when here, especially here. So we're dealing actually with a halavoa that might be transformed into a mecha, but nevertheless, the Ravid says, Miki Vanch is a derech mecha. Kira oni bi ribis de rabbonon. So how would the rabbit be mefarish the Mishnah ribis gemura va toire hitirosoi? 
even according to the Machmirim, according to Chachomim, Shaloch Kamoisam, Tzad Echad Bala Besosa, but it's not Ribiz Gemura Vatoire Hiti Rosoi. So Toysis Dav Samach Dalad, Domedalev, Toysis maintains that Tzad Echad Bala is any Ribiz that is esophic, if at the end of the day there will be Ribiz or not. Other Rishonim maintain Tzad Echad Bala is only when it's Biyad Aloive Vahamalve. It is for them to determine whether it be Rebis or not, but if there is any objective suffix, that is not the heter of Tzadeh at Rebis at all, and that is a suffix, suffix is a deorize. So Toysa says, Pshat in the Mishnah in Eirechen, Pshat in the Brais in Eirechen, Rebis Gemura, Midra Bonon. Rebis Gemura, Midra Bonon, Torah Tirosoi. What's Pshat? The Torah was Mati, Rebis Gemura, Midra Bonon. So most of the Achroinim say, Toysus Kavona is the famous Taz. Taz and three different sources. Yoredei Akuf Yudzayin, Choshim Mishpat Av Gimel, Or Lechaim Helches Shoifor. Taz says, anything that is mefurish v'toyra leheta, Chachomim cannot asam. So, the Torah is Matio. Moich Abayis v'boto Orechoyim. So, Midr Abonin, it should have been Ribis Gemura. But it can be Ribis because the Torah is Mati Elahedia. And Torah is the right to the Taz. That what the Torah is Mati Beferush, Chachome don't have the power to Asam. So that is the Pshat and Torah in Erech and And I think we need to be Mepharash Yerushalmi in the same way. If the Yushami says Rabbi Yehuda learns Sad Echot Beribis Mutter from Moicha Bayes Mabot Ori Choyma, so if it's only an Isid Rabbonan, even according to the Chachamim, how could the Yehuda learn that it's Mutter? If the title was Matia, then it cannot be an Isid Rabbonan. So the Yushami above Mesiachov and the Bavli in Erech and Amad Aleph, if we say that the entire Isa of Tzad Echad Beribis only is the Rabbonon, Kedivir HaToyz of Tzad, Kedivir HaRabed, then we need to assume Keshet HaSataz, that what the Torah is, Mati Elahedia, the Chachomem don't have the power to be Machmir. So it's been a few months that my son-in-law, Bainish, is prodding me. You need to give a shia about this Taz. And I plan to do so. I'm just looking for an opportunity. Maybe this would be my opportunity, but we have, first of all, we need to deal with Tzad Echaz Baribis, and I don't want to take this to the Taz. But um, we'll look for an opportunity in the near future to give a Shia on the Taz, because I have some Achshavis, and I did relate to the Taz in a few different places, sources on my forum, but I never really wrote up anything about the Taz, and it's, and it's such a Choshavi Yesoid, that I do feel that I need to deal with it in a more fundamental way. Kufayim Beis, Machloikis V'Sh Yosef and Bach, La'aloche, Tzad Echad Beribis, it's also in the Torah, and the Rabbon, the V'Sh Yosef maintains, K'div Ratois, the Samach Yimel, that it's also in the Torah, and the Bach argues, Ikar Aloche, it's also in the Rabbon, and there are various different Nafkaminis La'aloche, whether we're dealing with Ibis the Rabbon, or Ibis the Torah. Let's say, Sedei Shemayim, is there a Chiyiv L'Shalem or not? And that is a machloikis la'alocha, the Beis Yosef, and the Bach. Rashi b'shoresh ha'sugya. And I'm quoting Rashi. Tzad echot b'ribis muta. Ribis she'eina al yedei halvoa. Ela al yedei mecha. Ufa omem shobor de ribis. Ki gan zu. Im yuk rapes. V'yeshar amdum yeshkan ribis. Im lo yeshar amdum em. Ein ribis. And Rashi also ba moicha, moicha. Tzad Echad Beribis. Rashi seems to say that the head of Tzad Echad Beribis is only if it's Derech Mekechom Emkar, like the Ravid, called in the Rashbo. And that is also Rashi and Erech and Eframed Aleph. Rashi once again says Tzad Echad Beribis, like Rashi writes here. If it's Ein Aridevo, El Aridei Mecha, and it's also Tzad Echot Beribes, and that would be the Machloikis. Toysis maintains, even with Derech Halvoa, Tzad Echot Beribes Muta. And I explained before, when we say Derech Mekach, it's not really Derech Mekach, because Harei Shoye Noisha Bechavei Remona, and he says, Im Loi Afra Acho, Ad Yo Imploini, 
תהי כנוי הלכו, מה עכשיו, then it is עיקר דרך הלבוא. And if at the end it is not mecher, then there is no ribis. The tzad there will be ribis is only if it's going to be alvoa and not a mecher. But nevertheless, only when it's derech mecher, it's defined as tzad echad v'ribis shenech l'kibbo chachomim. If it's derech alvoa, not. Now, what is the svorah to maintain that tzad echad v'ribis muta? Why, why would that be? Is it Medina's fakus? Would we say that Sofak Rebis Loi Osr Toira? Probably it's not defined as Rebis Kitsutsa. The concept of Ktsitsa is Ktsitsa Al Sada Vadai. Only that is defined as Rebis Kitsutsa. And therefore, if it's Tzadech the Rebis, there is no Ktsitsa Gemuro. And that will also explain the opinion of the Ramban and Toisvis that Tzad Echad Beribis is only what it depends on the Malva or the Loiva. Like Moicha Ba'ez Babot Orechoim, that the Moicha has the option of redeeming that house. Like Noisha Bechavei Ramona, Im Loya Fra'acho, then, then uh, it should be Mecha. So it's Biyad Amoicha or Biyad Aloikeach, only that is Tzad Echad Beribis. But if there's an objective question, whether it would be Rebis or not, like so be so, might be more, worth more, might not be worth more. And Toysus asks, why isn't every subasot tzadech od beribis? According to the Ramban and Toysus daf samach dalad, it's not tzadech od beribis, but tzadech od beribis is only when it's biyad ha or biyad ha or amalva to determine whether there would be ribis or not. So tzadech od beribis is muta is because that is not defined as ribis ktsut. So ktsitza needs to be definitive. Tzitzah needs to be al tzadah vaday, and that is why tzad echot beribis is muta. So some of the say the difference would be, is it me'achshov or not? And in our sigar, Neishu Neishu Bechavei Ramona, V'yosa Leisod Zdei Mecha, is only because he says, if at the end I... Will pay you, it won't pay you, it should be mecha miachsov. If it's not mecha miachsov, then there would be no heter of tzad echot beribes. But that is a mechloikis and a shoinim. Toysis and Megillah says, Mikivan sheesh tzad mecher, it's mutar. So the Ravid says, miachsov. But Toysis doesn't seem to say that the heter is miachsov. So even though the bias will be yours, then, and not now, it still is defined as Tzad Echot Berebis. The Chavaz Das, both in Kuf Samech and in Kuf Ayin Beis, the Chavaz Das says, because his main objective is Mecha, and the reason he's, he's lending money to his friend, he hopes that his friend won't pay, and then he will take possession of the maskin. So even though he's not Koine Lema Freya, but because that is his objective, that is defined more mechira than halvoa. So that would be, once again, the svora, the fundamental svora is, it's not, either it's not a ktsitsa gemura, or the money was given l'shem mecher, like uh, mo- definitely by moicha ba'is babot orachayma. We're dealing with a, with a mecher. But if he buys the house back, then it would be defined as if it was a halva. So we could explain in one of two ways the heter of tzad echot beribis. If we say tzad echot beribis is only when mechira is involved, like shittas rashi, then we would say that the tzad of halva is not the ikar objective. The ikar objective is mecha, and therefore the reason its mutter is because it's not defined as alvoa. Or we would say it's not ribis ktsutso, but ktsitsa needs to be al sad havadai. Those are the two approaches how we would explain the heter of tzad echot beribis. Some achroinim ask if ribis mu'ucheres is not osem in Torah, then how could tzad echot beribis be more kal? than Rebis Mu'cheres. At least 
No, if Rebbe's the Mocher is also, then Tzadik Rebbe's definitely needs to be also. Loi Gora, Midelabonon, Mitzadik Rebbe's Mocher is. But Rebbe's Mocher is, there was no seats at all. And after the weekend, there's an Isid Rebbe's Every Tzadik Rebbe's, at the end of the day, it's Loi Gora, Rebbe's Mocher is. Rebbe's Mocher is, there was no stipulation, no is Chayvis at all. V'yafra piken osro chachomem, how could sad echot berebes be yoisa kal meribes mocheres? Sad echot berebes, there was ktsitzim. And it was stipulated in advance that it might be ribes at the end of the day. So if at the end of the day he is paying ribes, how could that be yoisa kal? How could the Buddha say that sad echot berebes is muta lachatchela? And Rebis Macheres Kuli Alma Moidim, that it's an Isid Rabbonon. So, how would Tzad Echot Berebis be Yoisa Kal Me Rebis Macheres? So, one of the Sifre Lekutim I used is Metzain to the Mayone Achochma. Mayone Achochma is Rebbe Tzunz, one of the greatest Gedolim in the days of the Ksois Achoshin. He was an amazing girl and a big mefalpo. And uh, so when I learned Bob Metzi as a young bocha, that's one of the form I bought. And I, I'm very mechab of those form with my childish handwriting, which, uh, which are nostalgic, nostalgic to me. Sound Usha Zelig Weiss, Weiss with two of him. That was those days. So I looked it up and in uh, Mayone Chachma. So the Mayone Chachma says, the difference between Rebbe's Mecheres and Tzad Echad Berebis, Tzad Echad Berebis is, when the money or the benefits that ultimately will become Rebbe's, but Bishas, the person got that money, it was not Derech Rebbe's, but Derech Mekach. But Rebbe's Mecheres, when he gets the Rebbe's, it is clear, right here and now, that this is Rebbe's. And that is why you're getting the money. The transfer of money is now. And the Achilles Pedis is now. And the same by Bayez Babot You're living in the house now. When I live in the house, it's not certain that it's Ribis. Tzad Echot Lefachot is that it's the Meimekach and not Ribis. So the kul of tzadechot beribis depends on the transfer of money or the benefit that ultimately, at the end of the day, will be nisbara that that was the ribis. So when I got that benefit, whether it's noisha bechavei raimona, kniyalacha, he's eating the peres now. Ba'is baboto rechoyme, he's benefiting from the house, he's living in the house now. And at the end of the day, this might be ribis, might not be ribis. So even if it is ribis at the end of the day, but when it was nana from that soda or that bias, it was not definitive ribis. Masha enken ribis mu'ucheres. And I think that's a spark of genius. But samachayu midbeis, when a person gives halvoa and he says, when he sells a house and he says, if you will want to send the house, then uh, a bias. And that is So, at the end of the day, when he's going to get benefit and we want to get that house at a cheaper price, it will be ribis. At that stage, it will be ribis. And after Piken, the Gemara says, it is Tzad Echod Beribis. So, and that is so the Pshat of the Mayon Echachma. So the other approach would be, uh, if there is ktsitsa, and the ktsitsa is not definitive, it is yoisa kal ma'asher tzadechot berebis, ma'asher rebis mocheres. Rebis mocheres, the status of the halvoa is clear. Tzadechot berebis would be derech mecher. And even there is a tzad mecha, rafal pishe ikroi halvoa, tzad mecha is enough to determine that it's not an isa of ribis. Masha enken beribis mocheres, which is a halvoa gemura. So even though there was no ktsitsa, 
that would be an Isid Rabbonon. Ma she'en ken tzad echot beribis, she'esh bo tzad mecher, and the tzad mecher says that is not defined as ribe ketzutza because it's not a clear halavoa. Even though the end of the day, it is only if that mecher does not come into fruition, and it's in this battle of that it was a halavoa, but because mi'ikora b'sha'as ha'ktsitza, there was a tzad mecher, that is why tzad echad b'ribis would be yoisa kal than ribis mu'ucheres. If it is ma'achshav, then that is the intention. If it is not ma'achshav, then it is more the structure. It is more the possibility. But even if it's not ma'achshav, it might be in the intention. Because when the person is giving money, even though pashtas ha-sugya, harei shoho ye noisha b'chavei remona v'yosel esedei ha-mecha, mashma that mi'ikore he was noisha b'chavei remona. And only at a later stage, and so here the intention was clearly halavoa. But at the stage in which he's Osa lo mecher, and that is the ribis, at this point his intention is be'ika mecher. He does not intend to live in the house for free and get his money back. Kisha osa sadeu mecher, at this point his intention is mechida. What? Yeah. But the, the lady who originally had a loan and now he needs to give the mashman because he has a loan, the stomach he wants his house back. So okay. The corona might not be equal. Yeah. But at Tzadah Shavah Shabahem, that at least one of the two parties is Machavim Be'ika Lamecha. Masha Enken, Berebis Mocheres, which is Alvoa Gemura. So even without any Tzitzah, it would not be more than an Isa de Rabbonon. So these are the fundamentals in the Sugi of Tzad Echot Berebis. Balavachi, we pass Kansad Echad Berevis also, but the question, the Nafkamina Allah, would be the Machloikis Ereshoin, the Machloikis Visei Sufan Bach, is it Rebis Diuraisa, Rebis Daraboran, and there are many Nafkaminas, which we still will discuss at uh, a future show. What are all the Nafkaminas? Because at one of the previous Shunam, I said, we need, and we can only do this towards the end of Hilchas Rebis, to have a certain chart, a, a, you know, a Sulam. Of ribis, ribis ktsutsa, ribis darabonan, avak ribis, uh, mexica ribis, and try to figure out what are these egdoras, ve ma bein